Good morning, my friends. We are getting rid of this huge Afro Einstein unkempt curly wad of protein that I've been growing on my head for the last couple of years. The joke's over, my friends. It's time to get back to societal norms. No, I'm just kidding. I'm getting a mullet. <laughs> There's nothing normal about that. There's something freeing about walking around your front yard. Front yard. The fuck is a front yard? There's something freeing about walking around in your front yard in your underwear, having your morning coffee. I guess we're out of dog bowls. You like eating off the ground, Chopper? Yeah, me too. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Oh, jealousy. Jealousy. Oh, let me pet the short dog. Being weird. Anyway, we're getting a haircut today. Funky. I'd like to introduce to you the new and improved Kylo. My wife wanted a mullet. I got a mullet. <laughs> I think it makes me look smarter. I think everyone with training in nuclear chemistry should get a haircut just like this. Yeah, definitely makes me look smarter. Funny enough, my wife wants it a little more aggressive. She wants to see some hard lines in this mullet and some shaved hair like down to the down to the head. <laughs> Let's see what she can do. We're gonna go back and bring this haircut back for adjustment. I've never done this in all my years, but hey, I, I, I did it for my wife. This is the haircut she picked. There we go. That's much better. Ah, seatbelt. How's that for improvement? Smarter even yet with this one. Got a part cut in it and everything. I'm big time in it now, boys and girls. So weird out of there early. I got my relief pharmacist working for me. Asked her, you wanna lock up? She says, yeah. Simple. We're going to the airport. There's some other guys I think gonna meet out there. And we're gonna fly this new mullet and see how aerodynamic she really is. That's the plan for today, friends. Let's go fly this mullet. Hey, I was fixing a vlog. He's stepping on my vlog over here. It used to just be me. <laughs> yeah, we're stacked up out here at Spring Hill. We got uh, pilots, vloggers. I'm gonna fly this uh, this Universal 1.1 again. I just released the trimmers. They had these things locked out. Look at the trim range on these things. It's gigantic. I released all the uh, safeties off of those. Had to undo them off the mallions. I didn't really film that. But we're gonna clip in. The winds are reversible. Oddly enough. So about the time I strap in will be about the time that stops. Yeah, I got Woody's magic trick. But we're gonna fly this mullet, see how aerodynamic it is. You like that? <laughs> got it cut the way Jen wanted it. All right. I think we're hot. I think we're recording. I think we're fitting to go up here and fly around. Let's see if she cranks up. Bet. All right. It's almost time. Let's turn on some music. Our engine is warming up. There we go. Golly, those trimmers. The tapes are so long. What are we cooking with here? A little bit of wind? Oh, it's looking pretty light. That's how, that's what I was saying. I can make the wind stop blowing. <laughs> Let's try an inflation and see what we're cooking with. Still got it. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Man, it takes a lot of brake to turn this big old thing. That's not too bad. It's actually a pretty nice dang wing. I don't know that I like these uh I don't know these hard things in the toggles. It's kind of weird. Hey. <laughs> Neighbor waving down there doing a little gardening. Oh, this fence. I'm looking down on this fence. First time I've ever seen it from this angle. Okay. We're gonna let some trimmers out on this beast. Y'all ready for this? Let me get some altitude first. Woo! That does make it a bit faster. 
faster. I like them slow. I guess it's good for cross country. Currently flying down taxiway alpha, jamming the rolling stones, recording my flight on my GoPro Hero 7 helmet cam. Oh look, let's stop. Let's go by and see what's up. What you telling me, Winsock? What you telling me? Huh? Nice. Ooh, look, another one. What does this Winsock say? You know, I gotta pause this music for a second and talk to y'all about something. Airport safety. Guys, twice this year, I have witnessed people launch or land right in front of an oncoming aircraft. It's scary. It is dangerous. The first time somebody hits one, it will probably mean some regulation. At, at the very least, people are going to get hurt or killed. I just don't know what else to say. I was going to make a special video just about that. Oh man, the swamp's in bloom. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, anyway, back to what I was saying. Runway incursions, they are... You, you got to watch out. Everybody's got to watch out. It may not just be up to you. We even, you know, we, the last time I saw one was at an operation where there were planes coming in and out steadily and somebody still took off right in front of an airplane. And both of these incidents that I witnessed, I mean, it wasn't like it was a close call. It was, there was plenty of room, but I'm picking across the one ray right now and I'm looking everywhere to make sure that there is not an airplane coming at me, near me, on approach. You know, we're the minority out here at these airports. It is us. You know, we're the ones that need to be watching out for them. They've got the right of way always. And I want everybody that's watching this video that flies a paramotor to be vigilant about what's going on in your surroundings, especially if you're doing paramotor operations at an airport. Given the runway a wide berth here, and there's a reason. That's because that environment is reserved for takeoff and landing of airplanes. Now, sometimes you'll catch me flying over it or even down it, but it's because I've always checked and made sure that there was nothing inbound, outbound. I've talked to the guys on the ground. I mean, you do everything you can to make sure that it's safe. I had a talk with all these guys that are down here about, you know, airport safety, where to fly, how to fly, what to look for. And uh, even after talking to people, I still see it happening sometimes. But I just can't stress enough how much you should keep an eye out for air traffic, whether it be other paramotors, but especially airplanes. Airplanes are moving fast. The slowest airplanes, you know, as far as general aviation, are like 50 miles an hour. They're gonna be coming in at 50. You know, even if it's a Cub. Planes aren't always the most visible things in the sky. You got to look where they're gonna be. I'm looking at this runway. There may be a plane below the tree line. You may need to look below the sky to see it. If it's coming in on a low approach and you're up here flying around, you may be looking down on it. It just, it would break my heart if that happened and for some reason I got kicked off of this airport or any other place that I regularly fly because somebody didn't look. I just felt like it was worth a good blurb in a video to mention all that. I know everybody makes mistakes sometimes and I ain't harping on anybody that's done it, but it's so important. So important, guys. And a perfect demonstration of why you should not lift your legs until you have attained flying speed. No! Cage netting. Looks like it's forward launch conditions now. Let's try for forward launch. The important thing about forward launching is having a good proper layout into the wind. Same thing on this side. Show you a trick I learned back in grade school. You ready? Ah, I didn't do it. You suck, you jackass. Help. <laughs> so much for my tricks. Clip. I can't hear a word you say. No, I got music jamming. I can't hear anything. Come back.
pull all those underneath the A's. Something's weird, huh? Yeah, I, I don't like it. Something's weird. Flip that one and let me have it if you don't mind. I mean, hold on, hold on. Let me. It, it, I know it's probably okay. But... I'd hate for you to find that out. After. It was just a compression knot. That's all it was. But anytime I unclip, I always start over. Yeah, when I inflated it, it's very likely that would have just popped on out. I, I or I would have aborted the launch either way. Yep. Busted this stuff up. I wonder what it's like down low. Let's go down here and feel of it, huh? The swamp, baby! The swamp is over there. It looks pretty clear. Like you can see through the water today. It's just that it's brown and nasty on the bottom of the water. Ooh, big fish swimming around. Maybe it was a gator. There's gators in there, yeah? Oh, it looks like cliffs up. All right, so. The story is, I heard a funny sound, so I did a precautionary landing, and I had lost that same nut that got loose on my exhaust header. So luckily I had a replacement nut, and I screwed it on there. Motor cranks. I'm gonna fly it around and see if, uh, see if it makes a difference. Do a little test flight. Go for like 10 minutes. Clip. Sounds good. We'll find out if it is good. Let's see, which way am I going? I think I'm going this way. the hill that wasn't very good did it look like something was snagged up no it's like the middle of the wing wasn't coming up huh interesting good no air traffic formation flying All right, we're gonna come down and check it. It's been a few minutes. This is how we do a maintenance flight. The winds have died down a little bit, so I gotta make sure my glide is good. All right, y'all, an important lesson in wake turbulence is fixing to show itself right here. I'm on glide, my motor's off. I'm getting too low to restart by the time I realize what's happening. David on the red and white glider, he is a new pilot. I'm not holding this against him at all, but he flew right across the front of the LZ as I was coming into land, and his wake is about to whack my wing, or luckily right over the ground. Same thing oh. happened in California out here on this <laughs> mountain. Watch this. That Just rolls your wing. But the same thing has happened. I get ready for it, so just check this out. Whoa, did y'all see me get waked? His wake just hit me right as I was landing. Yeah, yeah, I got, I, I hit right into it. I saw it coming, I was waiting on it, but he turned away, I'd killed my motor, so I was committed. Right, <laughs> I thought you were dead. Again, this is not a knock on David. He's a new pilot. I should have explained it to him better during his instruction, but uh, he wouldn't have known my motor's dead anyway. He can't hear whether it's on or off, so mainly this is on me to watch out for this. All right, good perfect layout. It's just like Daddy likes it. Now I gotta let his wake turbulence clear out now. I don't want it hitting me right as I launch. That'll put me in the tip. pretty sunset so I killed the motor and just did a long glide into a landing I just just enjoying it y'all just enjoying it I'm gonna cut the video here I don't think I actually did any vlogging on the way in 
just soaking in the sights and the sounds and the feeling. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it. Appreciate all of you guys, the subscribers, the commenters. I love y'all, man. Much love, everybody. Kyle out. Bring back the 80s, baby, yeah. Just like when I was a kid. Gosh damn it. Every fucking time. Bring back the 80s.